So you just got a new puppy. Maybe you got a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Well, today's video is just for you because I'm giving you five things that you need to expect when you get a new puppy. Yeah, you ready? Are you ready for a video? So the first thing that I think when I get a new puppy is, what are they gonna look like when they're older? Let me show you. So this is Daisy Dukums. It's my female Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. And yes, she's full grown. And she used to look like this. Oh my goodness. She's the mother of these two puppies and uh, she's been a great dog. But yeah, pretty big, especially when you compare to this little one. So cute, right? Yeah. And this is Winston. He's my full grown male Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. And he used to look just like this. But now he's a big boy. You see? That's his son. Tiny two, tiny one. Pretty cool, huh? Winston's really big, let's see. How big are you, boy? Oh. Ooh. He's a handful. You're a handful. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? With Daisy being 12 pounds and Winston being 16 pounds, there's a bit of a difference because Daisy's a female. Boys will get a little bit bigger. Both of these are boys, so they're gonna be probably close to 15 pounds. You're gonna get big and strong? Are you gonna get big and strong? The second thing that you should expect when you get a new puppy is learning everything that has to do with their diet and health. So you should be feeding them good food with some variations like maybe you throw in some chicken, some raw meat, red meat, that sort of thing. But uh, good dog food, don't give them people food. Definitely don't feed them from the table. It's not good for them and they'll just start to beg. That's not a good look, no. Also, you wanna make sure that you have the regular vet checks, you know, a couple times a year, depending on the age of the dog. It changes, but do your research and however old your dog is. I'm no expert, so make sure that you're definitely reading up on whatever breed that you have, even if it's a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. And another thing that's really important to their diet and health is exercise, and with lots of playtime comes a lot of sleep time. Your little puppy's gonna need to sleep a lot, and often. So make sure that when it's napping, you let it sleep, and when it wants to come play, you let it play, you play with them, get them tired, but definitely don't keep waking them up. Give them their time, because sleep is really important too for them to be healthy. Ooh, the big boy's out. Yeah, the big boy's out. And the fourth thing that's really important for you to know when you get a puppy is that there's gonna be a lot of time to socialize. So that means with other family members and friends, also with other dogs, maybe at dog parks and stuff when they get old enough to go and not take the risk of getting sick, but with other dogs, even with other pets. So if you have, like I do, reptiles, birds, fish, cats, you wanna make sure that you socialize them with all the animals and all the people because uh, it's important. You don't want your dog making you look bad out in public, barking and pulling and screaming and going crazy. Just train them. Just take them with you and let them get used to the people. Winston here, he's a people person. He loves to eat their ears and lick them and jump on them and give them lots of kisses and it's just too much. <laughs> yeah, you're stressful sometimes. And I got one more thing for you that's really important to know when you're getting a puppy, but first I wanna show you something really cool that I spend a lot of time doing to help support the channel, and that's my artwork on trickstars.com. This shirt is called Woofs in Space, and there's a lot of dog-themed shirts on there with Cowboy Woof and the Pirate Woof. They're out there like with pirate hats and swimming and riding horses, all kind of cool stuff. This is uh, Woofs in Space. Let me know what you think. You have Winston and Daisy up in a spaceship wearing helmets and uh, pretty cool. So if you think that's neat, head over to trickstars.com. It really helps support the channel and uh, you can grab yourself something cool. I was gonna bring Daisy out here for the last point, but she's actually feeding the puppies right now, which is super important. And that leads us into our fifth point. You gotta give your dogs time. So you need to have patience with them because they're gonna pee on the floor, poop on the floor, they're gonna make mistakes, and you just can't get angry at them, don't hit them, don't scream at them. Just be patient, because it is a little animal and it's learning its routines just like you are. So give it time and uh, just love it unconditionally and provide a really good home for it. Combine these five tips uh, when you get your new dog and I think that you'll be well on your way to providing a wonderful home and having a new best friend. In case you're wondering, those puppies are newborn, they were for sale, one of them has a deposit on it, so more than likely that has been sold, 
and uh, the black and tan is still available, but I have somebody that's seriously considering going ahead and putting a deposit down. So if you're interested in having puppies, I'll have more later. Um, you know, I just have a pair of them. And so when it happens, it happens. But if you're looking for that kind of stuff, you like puppies and you like dogs, like Cavalier Spaniels, uh, make sure to subscribe, follow us on Instagram and TikTok because we post a lot of content there. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.